Hey guys, Mrs. Gatch here. Today I'm gonna to show you two cool things that you can do um, with some awesome, wait, three, two, one. Hey guys, Mrs. Gatch here. Today I'm gonna to show you some fun things that you can do with the Adobe apps that are available on the iOS store. Um, I think they're also available on Android, but this is what we're gonna be using in class, so I might as well show you what you can do on the um, iPad. So what we're gonna be doing is we're actually going to be combining two different pictures together using both Photoshop Fix and Photoshop Mix um, to create one kind of fun little meme. So our end product is going to be this here, not this one here actually. Our end product is gonna be this. So here I just took a picture of one of my students and put it into this photo. Obviously it's not, um, the best picture ever. I mean, she looks awesome, but it's always something fun to experiment with. So let's go ahead and get started. So with all these Adobe apps are free. You don't need to have Adobe Photoshop on your laptop or anything to use them. This is, they're just very basic forms of the Adobe desktop program. So first I'm gonna start with Photoshop Fix. That's a fun little thing that I did. And I'm gonna open up a new project. And here I have all these pictures in my camera roll. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up. Okay, so this here is the creation of Adam, very famous scene from the Sistine Chapel, if you've ever been. And I'm gonna go ahead and start um, having fun with this. So the one thing that I do wanna do is this, is an option called healing. And healing in Photoshop, basically it lets you either do a spot heal where it'll kind of take a picture of something and fill it in, as you can see what I'm doing there. But you have to move little by little, and I feel like healing sometimes doesn't work really well. So what I like to do is something called the clone stamp. And clone stamp, what it does is that you'll select a part, and then you're gonna, it basically lets you stamp that, for like moving on. So it's like you're kind of painting over with whatever swatch you've taken a picture of. It's actually something really cool. Um, it's something that I love about Photoshop. It takes a little bit of time, but once you get it mastered, you can actually, it gives you a lot of power. So here I'm just gonna color over Adam and make his pale self disappear. You sometimes have to be smart with what stamp you're using, because remember, whatever I take a picture of, that's what it's gonna paste over. So here for his hand, I wanna take a picture of this and then color that, okay? So it's just what it really is, it's a, a stamp of something. So for like his head, I probably should color it in blue. I'm gonna move this around a bit. Oh, it doesn't want to quite move around as much as I thought. Maybe that might be better. As you can tell, it is a very, oh, if you, uh, if you mess up a bit, like what I did there in the upper right-hand corner, I can just hit that back button and it'll do, it'll move back one. Now remember, this doesn't have to be perfect. This isn't like the Photoshop program, the Photoshop program, on the laptop is way more advanced, um, but it's just something fun to have. This one here is not turning out as awesome as I wanted to, which is upsetting me a bit, but I'm gonna just try to get creative with it. All right, this is all it's gonna do. Obviously, doesn't look as perfect as I'd want, but I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. So once I have that there, I feel eh, kind of emotionally committed to it. I mean, obviously this could be a bit better, but it's, I'm not gonna stress out over it. Maybe try to fix these lines a bit. Oh, I think I just made it worse, great. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the check button. So now that's kind of the one thing that I have. If you ever wanted to adjust um, color, light, you can do that all in here. But the picture, I got it from Wikipedia. It's actually pretty awesome. So I don't need to do much. I can make it less saturated. I can make it black and white. You've kind of all of this adjusting already on the Apple photo um, editing app. So. I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to um, save to camera roll, because this is the one that I want. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up another program, which is Photoshop Mix. So this was my original photo. I'm gonna go ahead and start again. So in Photoshop Mix, this is where you can put things one on top of the other, and then you can layer photos. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my picture that I had, erased, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and put in the photo that I want touching um, uh, God, I guess that's a dude's name. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick here my lovely student, Julia. It's gonna ask me, do I wanna resize? You can or don't have to, it doesn't really matter. It just made it smaller actually. But here, I just wanna cut her out. And here I want the background. <clears throat> so in Photoshop Mix, there's this option that literally is cut out and it's exactly what that sounds like. 
So what you do in here, ooh, I have to make her a bit smaller. I wanna get all of her body. What you do, it's either, in the bottom it's either add or subtract. Well, there's nothing in the background that I wanna add. I actually, you can add by either selecting her and what it'll do is it'll try to pick as much of her as possible. And the computer or the program is pretty smart. It'll say like, oh, this is, you know, this looks like the color you want or the body part. But remember, it's still not super advanced in here. We're getting little bits of the background. So you can either select the option of add and then add the body into it, or you could do the opposite, where if I hit subtract and I zoom in, I can then subtract the background. And it takes time. The more you zoom in, it kind of will focus more on those pixels, so don't be afraid to zoom in. All right, and it'll show you what you got. Maybe get rid of that. And it takes time, but it's worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this because not everyone wants to see me do this. And then I will meet you in our com combination. as much as the background as I can on our lovely student Julia here. So I feel pretty secure with it. There's some cool things you can try to do. Feathering the edges just makes it either more or less blurry. I actually don't really want them um, blurry at all. And then there's some things that you can do with the edges where you can make them fuzzy and that kind of gives the illusion like you've gotten more. That actually works better between medium and short. I think you might be able to tell a bit of a difference. So I actually might go with medium. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just hit check. Now, it looks kind of weird right now because I need to resize things a bit. So first I need to, I'm gonna move her off to the side. And to work with different layers, you just select them on the side. So here I wanna select this layer, my background layer, and I'm gonna extend it out so it fits. And then I'm gonna pick Julia, and now this is where we get to have fun. So obviously I wanna connect her to God's because she's being there She's gonna be on the Sistine Chapel. And there's some things here. So if I just unclick, you can see, okay, maybe I wanna to try to make her more vibrant. I can make her, I can try to look and make her smaller. So to select, make her smaller, I can select her. But I actually like her looking a little bit larger because she looks all powerful. Now remember, if nothing is selected out of these little, um, on the right, if nothing's selected, that's when you can adjust your canvas and move around. But the minute I highlight and, some, and it's, something's highlighted, that's where it's gonna work there going to move and adjust you can spin around maybe you know whee, make big small you guys know how to do this so here she's going to be like touching I liked where she was before actually and then um, if you want you can actually try to adjust the color a bit so I think it's a bit hard maybe you can try to give her a little bit more saturation the picture was a bit faded actually Give you a little bit more so clarity just kind of bumps up the contrast a bit the exposure well it's not going to make her too bright you can hit auto fix but i think auto fix is actually sometimes the worst thing that you can do um and then we can just check and see if that works a little bit better and sometimes maybe you want to do the opposite you want to take the picture that is the background and make it a little bit more dull so if i wanted to maybe with the contrast Make it a little less. That actually works a bit better. Let's go back and adjust the contrast. And here, if you press those up there on the upper right hand corner, if you unselect it, it's just gonna work with that one layer, but when you tap it, it represents all three. And then you can start to compare what should probably happen. So I wonder if the saturation is a little too meh. It actually looks pretty good. And so we just start to have fun with it, mess around with shadows and whatnot, but I mean, Da Vinci painted it, so there's not really much you need to fix. So that's my picture there. I feel pretty emotionally happy and secure with it, looking good. Um, once I feel done with it, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save it to my camera roll. And if you guys want, you can publish it on your blogs. This isn't kind of a requirement for you to turn in. I just wanted to see what you can do with these fun apps. If you click on the next um, video, you'll see fun stuff that we can do with each other's faces. So hope you have fun having fun with Photoshop and I can't wait to see what you guys make.